We at Enterprise created our Enterprise Green Communities program in 2004 with a question of whether or not you could build housing that was healthy and efficient and environmentally responsible in the context of affordable housing. And we found that overwhelmingly the answer is yes, you can. So we've been working ever since then to really scale these practices. And we're launching our first 20 cohort to highlight the journeys of 20 early adopters of the program. We're confident that many other affordable housing developers will see something that resonates with their model. It was pretty evident you know, years ago uh, that you know, our thinking aligned with Enterprise Green Community's criteria for redevelopment and for neighborhoods. Cow in Place is the first phase of this endeavor. It's a 174 unit senior building. It's a historic black neighborhood. We don't go into a neighborhood and say, this is what you need. We go into a neighborhood uh, realizing that we don't know anything about the neighborhood and we're there to listen. We're so excited about the way the 2020 criteria are gonna impact our residents. We'll be upgrading residential units as well as a major landscaping overhaul with materials that are gonna help reduce the urban heat island effect and make it just a much more comfortable place to live and play. Residents are at the heart of all of the work that we do at Enterprise Community Development. We go beyond simply putting a roof over people's heads. From community building to resident services, we focus on enriching residents' lives. I'm not sure that green certification is gonna be the first thing on residents' mind when they decide to sign a lease but certainly it does have direct tangible benefits. We're really going deep in lifting up resident voices in the integrative design process, amplifying how healthy housing strategies show up, transitioning from a focus just on efficiency to also looking at emissions, climate resilience, and then also looking at water quality in addition to conservation. It's working with neighborhood stakeholders to help them move forward with the redevelopment in a very holistic approach. And certainly Enterprise Green Communities 2020 talks to that holistic approach. As part of the renovation, the 2020 criteria have required us to look very closely at the energy and water performance of the property. Extreme heat days are very likely in the future. So we are looking to create an outdoor oasis where our residents can get away from the heat in the surrounding neighborhood and feel comfortable and be able to gather. We're lifting up these best practices and how to design and retrofit and operate homes so that they are not just habitable for decades to come, but high quality places to live. Something that differentiates green communities from other certifications is the staff and resident education that helps make sure that these benefits are sustained over the long term. And the energy savings is being reinvested back into our community programs. Our goal is to, in the next 10 to 15 years, to improve the educational opportunities for the kids in the neighborhood, health, the resources for food. The criteria is not a hurdle but should be looked at as a checklist to provide better opportunities for the neighborhood. No two projects are exactly alike, especially when you're dealing with moderate rehabs and Enterprise has really been there to provide quick and clear direction. We know that in the affordable housing sector, time and money are limited and we're really our best selves when we collaborate with one another. We hope that you'll follow the journeys of these first 20 cohort members, reach out to us, reach out to them so that we can ultimately create a future where all housing is sustainable.